Bye. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? It's CI here, Chris here. And today's video consists of my predictions from the Optic Chicago Home Series. This weekend of games marks the beginning of Stage 4 of the 2021 CDL season. Since the last predictions video I uploaded, lots of teams have made roster changes. London released Zapdius and moved Alex up to their starting lineup. Paris released Classic and Zapdius is joining the team in his place. Thieves bench Hugh can move Tiege back up to their starting lineup. Minnesota moved Accuracy to the bench and brought Major Maniac back up to their starting lineup. Dallas moved Fellow back to the bench and brought Vivid on as their new fourth. Seattle released Decimate and brought Classic on as their new fourth. I'll be basing this week's predictions video on these most current roster updates. Alright, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. And for the first matchup here, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe won Major 3. I expect them to ride this high into Stage 4. They have also been the top team all season. They have appeared in every Major Finals that has taken place so far and are currently first in the standings by 100 points. I do not think Paris stands a chance here to be honest. They will be a new roster and I think it will be hard for them to take any maps on this Goliath FaZe team. And for the next matchup here, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Florida Mutineers. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. The Ultra, although not winning Major 3, have looked very solid recently. They were undefeated all last stage up until then. Florida did not have the greatest showing during the major. They got 3 0 by both Optic and NYSL during the event. Because of how good Toronto has looked in the Mutineers' recent struggles, I expect the series to definitely go in favor of the Ultra. The maps may be close, but Toronto should have no problem here in my eyes. And for the next matchup here, we have the Dallas Empire versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3 1 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Both of these teams will have made roster changes coming into this matchup. Vivid was debatably the best player on the original LAG team, and this is who Empire will be adding to their roster. London, on the other hand, looked very promising with their old roster last major. They had a good showing, so I'm not sure a change from that team will really work out in their favor. They looked really good and like they were on the come up with Zap. Because of London's inconsistencies, I think Empire will have a stronger showing here. I think Vivid is a better option than Fellow, and this should help them prevail in the series. And for the next matchup here, we have Optic Chicago versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Minnesota will be coming into the series after making a roster change. I think this was a much needed one and will help their team to be more successful. Attach, Priesta, Standy, and Major Maniac are all some phenomenal players. Major Maniac was putting up good numbers before being benched. Optic looked much better during Major 3 than they did the entire rest of the stage. They made a run that ended up landing them all the way to Sunday. I expect the series to be very close. Both of these teams are solid in my mind. Optic during the last Major proved they are still a great team despite their recent struggles. I also think Standy is a great player and is definitely benefiting Minnesota. He has carried his weight all season and has had a pretty big impact on them all as a rookie in my opinion. Also, Accuracy looked like the weakest link of their team to me if I'm being honest. I expect the highly contested series but for the Rocker to just barely be able to edge it out. And for the next matchup here, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. The Rocker will be coming into this matchup after winning their most previous one. Paris, in contrast, will be coming into this matchup on a loss. I do not expect this series to be close, to be honest. If it was me, I probably would have benched Accuracy and not Major Maniac if I was Minnesota to begin with. I think that after this change, they will look a lot better. I expect Rocker to be competing with the best moving forward and don't expect Paris to really stand much of a chance here. And for the next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Thieves versus Seattle surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the LA Thieves. Seattle has faced continued struggles all season. They are currently last in the standings and in CDL points. The Thieves looked like they were on an upwards trend before benching Tiege for Hugh. The team was also underperforming with Kyler. Moving Tiege back to the starting lineup should not hurt their performance in my opinion. This will also be Seattle's first matchup with Classic. I do not think they will be prepared as a unit or be able to display enough talent to make it close. They will not have the practice nor the gunny to make it happen. And for the next matchup, we and for the next matchup here we have the New York Subliners versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of NYSL. Subliners went undefeated all last stage up until the major. They didn't face their first L until they lost the phase during the major final. LAG did not have the strongest showing at the major. They were able to make it further than Elam round one, but not by much. NYSL also played all last stage with the newest rookie to enter the league, Hydra. I expect them to only get better as they get more practice with him and for them to only improve from here. I do not think the series will be close, honestly. I expect complete domination from the subliners to occur. And for the next matchup here, we have the Florida Mutineers versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Florida Mutineers. Florida is currently higher in the standings than London. They are 8th while London is 10th. They also have 50 
need more CDL points. London will be coming into this matchup after losing their one prior. I do expect them to have a better showing here, however, which is why I'm awarding them two maps. I just think Florida is the more talented team. I think London will try to put up a fight here, but it will not be strong enough to take the series. And for the next matchup, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Dallas Empire. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. Both of these teams will be coming into this matchup after winning their one prior. The only difference is Empire's W will be after a roster change. Both of these teams are also currently high up in the standings. Toronto is in fourth, while Empire is in third. Toronto during stage three looked phenomenal, while Empire struggled a bit. But as explained before, I expect Empire to look better with Vivid than they did with Fellow. Because of this, I expect a highly contested series to occur with all close maps. I expect for it to be a bloodbath and for it to be a series that goes down to the wire for sure. And for the last matchup of the weekend here, we have Atlanta Phase versus Optic Chicago. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of Atlanta Phase. Phase is still the top team in the game. They have the most CDL points and are first in the standings. Optic, as stated before, looked much better during Major 3 than they did at any other point throughout Stage 3. Because of this, I expect them to look like the Optic of old here. The green wall, I think, is back in full force now, and they will look to have a much better performance during this stage than they did the last one. I expect this series to be very close, to be honest. It's the Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel Marquee Match of the Day, and I expect it to live up to that name. I expect for the series to be back and forth, highly contested, extremely hype, and down to the wire. I think both teams will put up a good fight and showing here, but because of FaZe's consistency all season, I will have to award them the victory. And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Seattle Surge. In 11th, the Paris Legion. In 10th, the London Royal Ravens. In 9th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 8th, the Florida Mutineers. In 7th, the Los Angeles Thieves. In 6th, the Minnesota Rocker. In 5th, Optic Chicago. In 4th, Dallas Empire. In 3rd, New York Subliners. In 2nd, Toronto Ultra. And in 1st, Atlanta Phase. Alright guys, well that's pretty much it for today's video. As always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. I'm super excited for this weekend of games and can't wait to see how they all play out. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.